Good morning and welcome to the Fast Chat. I am Rochelle Butler, Energy Manager with the San Joaquin Valley Clean Energy Organization. Thank you so much for being with us this morning for the Fast Chat. Uh, we are going to get going in just a second. Um, I just want to take care of a couple of quick housekeeping items. Um, please make note, all of your microphones have been muted upon joining the call. Uh, this is simply to minimize background noise. If you have any questions at all during the presentation, I highly encourage you to go ahead and submit those questions. You can do so by using the chat box. We'll um, allow for a little bit of time at the very end to answer any questions you might have. Um, next, I would like to just give a quick reminder to everyone, um, go ahead and connect with us. You can connect with us on any one of our many, many platforms. You can find us on Twitter, on Instagram. We also have Spotify, um, or you can just reach out to us the old fashioned way via email or by phone. Um, as always, you can get access to any of our resources by visiting our website at SJV cleanenergy.org. Once again, that's sjvcleanenergy.org. And without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and dive into the topic. Um, as you may have already, as you may already be aware, um, we've dedicated much of the summer to talking about EVs and EV charging programs. Uh, for example, in July, we had a very special guest on the Fast Chat from PG&E to talk with us about the PG&E EV fleet program. In August, we had another very special guest from Southern California Edison to talk with us about their Charge Ready program. Um, and now we're wrapping up our EV summer with the California Clean Vehicle Rebate Project, or CVRP for short, which of course assists customers with obtaining the vehicles themselves. So. Um, we actually did a fast chat on CVRP about two years ago. However, the program was just renewed just this month. So we're really excited about that. And to help us go through all of the most up-to-date information regarding the program, we have another very special guest from the implementing partner for CVRP, which is the Center for Sustainable Energy. I would like to welcome to the fast chat, Brittany Fields, who is the Dealership Outreach Coordinator supporting dealership and fleet programs. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, Brittany. You can go ahead and take it away. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for that introduction, Rochelle. My name is Brittany Fields, and I provide support on the dealership and fleets team for the Center for Sustainable Energy. Next slide, please. So let's get started with a general overview of CVRP for fleets. The Clean Vehicle Rebate Project, also known as CVRP, offers three different fleet programs for the purchase or lease of new eligible zero emission and plug-in hybrid light duty vehicles. Sponsored by the California Air Resources Board, CVRP is administered by the Center for Sustainable Energy. The three different fleet programs include public fleets, car sharing or rental fleets, as well as business fleets. Fleet electrification is still a relatively new concept. More often than not, the most challenging part of getting started is taking the first step towards fleet electrification. This is where the Center for Sustainable Energy comes in. We've included a URL for you to visit below for a more in-depth overview of CBRP for fleets, as well as instructions on how to apply. We'll also make sure to send out any relevant links after this presentation. So currently cities throughout California have or are in the process of developing a climate action plan. In these plans, most cities have included a portion dedicated solely to fleet electrification. Per SB 498, a goal has been set in place to have 1.5 million zero emission vehicles by 2025. CBRP for fleets is an effort to support this goal. CVRP offers up to $7,000 for the purchase or lease of eligible electric vehicles for public agencies, up to 30 rebates a year. To help with planning and budgeting, public fleets are eligible to receive rebate funds of up to 18 months prior to vehicle purchase by submitting supporting documentation. 
The standard rebate amount is dependent upon vehicle type and is up to $4,500. The increased rebate allots an additional $2,500 in funding and is available to fleets in disadvantaged communities. We will discuss how to identify if your fleet is eligible for an increased rebate later in this presentation. So there are three types of clean fuel vehicles. The fuel cell electric vehicle, which has a standard rebate amount of $4,500. The battery electric vehicle, which has a standard rebate amount of $2,000. And the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, which has a standard rebate amount of $1,500. Zero emission motorcycles are also eligible for a $750 rebate. Please make sure before you apply for CVRP for fleets that you visit the eligible vehicles list to confirm that the vehicles you have purchased are on the CVR, are CVRP eligible. Um, we'll make sure again that you're sent a link to this list. As we discussed before, increased incentives are available depending upon location. Check your eligibility for increased incentives by entering your information in the Cal Environment Screen 3.0 tool. If you type in your address using this tool and the area is highlighted in red, your fleet qualifies for an increased rebate because it's located in a California disadvantaged community per the census tract. Again, we'll make sure that you have this link. So public agencies are eligible for up to 30 vehicle rebates annually. Public agencies include local government entities, state government entities, and tribal government entities. So after hearing all of this awesome information, the most commonly asked question is, how do we apply or reserve a rebate? Uh, fleet rebates are unique because fleet managers can apply for CVRP up to 18 months in advance to help with planning. If you're approved, the money is set aside or reserved for you and will not be returned to the pool of funding unless you go beyond your 18 month period to acquire your EVs. For EVs that have already been purchased, you can apply for CVRP up to 18 months after delivery. It's important to note that this is a post-purchase rebate, meaning you claim the funds after purchasing your EVs. Again, I want to stress the importance of checking the CVRP eligible list prior to purchasing to ensure that the vehicles you want to purchase are CVRP eligible. So let's talk about the application process. The application process is very simple. First, you'll start by applying online on cleanvehiclerebate.org forward slash fleet forward slash eligibility. You'll submit your supporting documentation um, and a rebate processing specialist will reach out to you to let you know of any documents that need to be uploaded. The distribution of this rebate will be made within 90 calendar days of application approval contingent upon availability of funds. If your application has been approved, the money has already been set aside for you. Lastly, the implementation manual is a great piece of collateral to reference if you have additional questions on this process or email publicfleets at energycenter.org. So let's review the CVRP rebate participation requirements. Recipients must retain ownership of the vehicle in California for a minimum of 30 consecutive months immediately after the vehicle purchase date. Recipients are also required to submit annual vehicle usage reports to CSE for all rebated vehicles at the 12, 24, and 30 month mark. Required data may include, but is not limited to, mileage reporting, and for increased incentives, the percentage of operation within disadvantaged communities. If there is a change um, in where the vehicle will be housed, please notify us as soon as possible. So what does success look like in regards to fleet electrification? You've procured your vehicles, received the rebate, and are submitting your usage data. This means you've successfully electrified your fleet or at least a portion of it. Uh, the number of EVs versus internal combustion engine vehicles is another measure of success. Success can also be measured by decreasing the amount of internal combustion vehicles and replacing them with EVs. Lastly, let's not forget utilization of assets. In the long run, EVs are more cost effective for customers because there are no need for oil changes in addition to low maintenance costs. On the flip side, there can be challenges to fleet electrification. 
First, bricked vehicles, that means charging infrastructure was not considered prior to electrifying your fleet, which leads to low vehicles, which leads to vehicles sitting on the lot, not charged and unused. Next is too many vehicles, uh, which leads to low utilization. It's important to have a good understanding of your fleet and customer buying behavior so that you purchase the right amount of EVs for your fleet. Another thing to consider is driver behavior. Make sure that staff is familiar with regular maintenance practices to prevent bad driver behavior. Lastly, another problem we see is difficulty scaling up. So what can you do to remedy these challenges? Of course, we wouldn't present any challenges uh, without also presenting to you some tactics of successful EV fleets. It's important to prepare, train, and manage. So prepare by establishing key performance indicators with your team, decide how you're gonna track that and ensure that chargers are available prior to vehicle delivery. Also, it's important to train your drivers and staff as well as train your fleet analysts on electric vehicles and manage and monitor control utilization and also benchmark progress against your peers. So the East Orange County Water District is the number one when it comes to electric miles traveled with more than 11,000 electric miles traveled in one year. And this is how they did it. They scheduled meetings in areas with charging infrastructure. They would also schedule meetings close to headquarters. Tactics like these support the success of their fleet electrification. So I hope that today's fast chat gave you all the information you need to get started on electrifying your feet with CBRP. Again, my name is Brittany Fields, and it has been a pleasure presenting to you today. With that, I'll pass it back to Rochelle. Thank you so much, Brittany. That was great. Um, I'm going to just pause here for a really quick second to give you all an opportunity to submit any questions you might have. Um, go ahead and do that in the chat box if you haven't already done so. Um, while you're working on that, um, I just want to remind everyone, look out for our follow-up email later on today. As Brittany mentioned during the presentation, um, we will be including all of the resources that she mentioned earlier today, all of the websites. Um, we'll also include in that email um, a link to the recording of this presentation. So just in case maybe you might have signed in a little late or this information might be pertinent to someone you might know or one of your colleagues, um, you can shoot them over that link and they can watch the presentation after the fact. Um, and that email will also include um, any related fast chats. At the top of the fast chat, I did mention um, some of the um, EV um, charging infrastructure programs that we presented on um, a couple of months back. So that stuff might come in handy for you. So be sure to look out for that email. It'll be chock full of um, really good stuff for you to follow up on. Um, lastly, I just want to take one more quick second and remind you to go ahead and add us to your um, email contacts list. We wanna be sure that you're receiving our communications so you can stay up to date on what is going on around the partnership. That email is info at sjvcleanenergy.org. Again, that is info at sjvcleanenergy.org. And I am going to take a quick peek at our chat box here for any questions. I don't have any questions. Um, oh, I see something that just popped up here. Here we go. Let me see. Give me one moment here. And get it up here where I can read. Um, okay, it says the website still has a waitlist message displayed, but I think you mentioned the program was renewed this month. Do you have any more details on when the waitlist will end? Brittany, do you have any insight on that one for us? I do have insight on that. Uh, this presentation was actually placed quite perfectly because we are officially reopening tomorrow on the 15th. Oh, that is great news. Even, even more timely than I originally thought we would be. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Okay, and then a follow-up question I have here. Is that for the non-fleet program too? Yeah, so if you're looking for CBRP for light-duty vehicles, that, that applies there as well. 
Okay, so what I would probably say um, is, you know, as soon as you see that open up, go ahead and submit those applications because um, it's my understanding that the funding does go pretty quick. Would you agree with that, Brittany? Yeah, so the funding does go pretty quickly. Um, and there is also a wait list that was in effect during the during that time before we were approved for funding. So we first have to service those uh, wait list applications, and then we'll get to any new applications. So Rochelle, you are right on the money with that, no pun intended, um, to get those applications in as soon as possible. Awesome. Okay. Um, all right, that looks like everything that we have for questions. So um, what is next for the Fund at Fast Chat? We hope to see you back next month. Remember, we're here every second Tuesday with a new topic. October's topic, we're going to switch back, um, switch gears back to schools. Um, so we will be covering the California Schools Healthy Air Plumbing and Efficiency Program, or CalShape, for short, that's much easier to say. So we'll hope to see you, or we really hope to see you there on October 12th at 10 a.m. And I'll go ahead and wrap us up. As always, thank you so much for joining us this morning for the Fund at Fast Shop. I hope everyone has a wonderful week, and I hope everyone stays safe and stays healthy. Thank you again.